city recorded homicide number 211 late this morning. The body of a man was found in a vacant house in the Penn North neighborhood of West Baltimore, the same area hit by the riots in April. The man had been shot. It's a dubious threshold. Baltimore's recorded as many homicides so far this year as in all of 2014. At City Hall earlier, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake said the city's violence follows what she called four strands of rivalry and retaliation. She implored people with information about those involved to come forward. If you know someone that is involved in this, who you know are either the next uh, victim or the next perpetrator. And if you don't want to see your loved one die in the streets, we need you to help us do something about it. Because if they're involved in these strands of violence, it's coming. Citing similar increases in violence in other cities, the mayor called for a national response, including a controversial target, tougher federal gun laws. She acknowledged Baltimore's violence surges on despite Maryland's gun laws, some of the toughest in the country. The problem, she said, laws in other states are more lax. What I'm saying is that the current approach, the the state by state approach, has not been effective. On another front, concern of a police slowdown in Baltimore seems to have eased. Between July 15th and July 31st, city officers made 1,318 arrests. That's nearly double the 771 arrests officers made between May 15th and 31st, right after charges were filed in the Freddie Gray case. We're seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of positive indicators uh, that uh, you know, officers are you know, engaged on every level uh, and the concerns that uh, were raised, you know, that, that things are turning around. And those recent arrest numbers are much closer to the level of arrests in Baltimore before the death of Freddie Gray. Reporting live from the newsroom tonight, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.